What is up, fellow YouTubers? We are live. I'm about to put sardines and some ramen noodles and eat it because I can. Well, that's most definitely what's up. Welcome to the channel. Why aren't you vegan, murderer? You know what? You're a hypocrite because plants are alive too. So your comment's going to get hidden from my channel. These vegans are hypocrites. Like, fuck you, dude. I don't go around telling these vegans, you guys are huge pussies. You need to eat more protein. That's why you're so sick and delusional. I'm just saying, like... I love conjuring thunderstorms. Feel the power of the cobra. <laughs> The sardines are delicious. Boom shakalaka, motherfucker. I love conjuring thunderstorms. Oops. Mmm. <laughs> Fish and chips, ramen noodles. Get a mouthful of them sardines and them chips and them noodles. Gothic King Cobra, what are your future plans? Well, right now I'm just focused on getting my YouTube to have more subscribers. Stream is choppy from uploading at the same time. That's what's up. Did the soap still arrive or is it in transit? Well, that is a good question. Let's go over and check my uh, Gmail real quick. Uh, it's still in transit. This item is currently in transit to the destination. Honolulu High Distribution Center. That doesn't sound like anywhere near Casper. What the fuck, dude? Why is it going? Because if this soap company is based in North Carolina, why is it being shipped all the way to Honolulu just to have it shipped to my apartment? It should just go straight. You think it would go straight to... I don't know, dude. Shipping in Casper sucks. <sighs> Honolulu High USPS Center. Oh, my fucking God. You ever just want to punch Google in the fucking face because it can't listen to fucking save its life? Okay, so I guess my tactical soap is in Hawaii right now. And it's in transit headed to Wyoming. The trolls want to be a dick and say, please don't play the guitar. All right. I'll play the guitar. Thank you, trolls, for encouraging me to play guitar. Not that I need it. Now, if you like the guitar playing, subscribe to the King Cobra JFS channel. I don't need an escort. I don't need a hooker, you know? It'll happen when it happens, dude. No sense in rushing a good thing. So that is a no on the escort. Damn. Yeah, it is. You couldn't pay an escort enough money to want to date me anyways. Josh, would, you, would it turn you on if you were massaging some girl's warm walnut and she farted? I don't know if it would turn me on necessarily. I'd be sitting there laughing about it, to be honest. I mean, I guess it depends on how hot the chick is because, okay, that's a little kinky. Goddamn. Warm walnut shell, you already know. <laughs> The G-spot in a woman's vagina is not a myth. It's not, dude. It feels like a warm walnut shell. That's no bullshit. This conversation's getting your estrogen going. <laughs> That's what's up. Oof. That's what makes me feel better about the dry spell, to be quite honest, is knowing there are of-age chicks who watch my videos, who would screw me in a heartbeat. Believe that. Like, just knowing there are fangirls, are you a virgin? Uh, technically, yes. I have not been penetrated. A couple months before Alex Anderson passed away, he came over kind of depressed. I'm like, what's up, homie? And... Alex Anderson told me he had dreams of passing away and dying, and he was worried. And now, What do you tell somebody when they're worried about dying all the time because of their disorder, and they have dreams about it, dude? All I could say was, bro, you're not going to die. You're going to have a long, healthy life. 
And I had no idea. Like as soon as Alex Anderson's dad passed away, like literally a month after his dad passes away, he dies. And I'm like, ain't that some bullshit to Alex? Cheers. Well, I'm not going to lie. I've heard Alex talk to me a couple times when I'm hanging out with friends. And I always think to myself, no, nah, I'm, I'm just hearing shit, you know, maybe. But uh, hair is looking like a mohawk. That's what's up. Yeah, my hair is long enough to spike into a mohawk. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I'll uh, be right back, Tube. Someone run outside. Well, we did get something in the mail. I have no idea what the heck is in this. Oh, please tell me my knife's not breaking. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. Hold up. I don't like that, YouTube. My knife blade's loose. A gift for you. Thank you, Cobes, for curing my scoliosis with your protection spell. I got you. This to complete your goth cowboy look. Cheers. He can't take. Oh, we got ourselves a hat. Take a look at that cowboy hat, YouTube. What do you guys think? Check out the uh, the new hat, YouTube. That's most definitely what's up. So I'm glad that uh, your scoliosis is cured. That's most definitely what's up. I love using my magic to help people. Hmm, let's try it on. What do you think of that, YouTube? There we are, YouTube. Ripping some ass over here. Giving that sort of cowboy from hell look going, like, howdy. So awesome, thank you for the sick hat, yo. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this more often. I'm your Huckleberry. That's just my kind of game. I guess the thing of it, YouTube, getting, getting a cowboy hat that actually fits my head is a bit of a challenge because I got a big head. This one actually fits. It stretches out just a little bit. So there you go. And I'll catch you cool cobras on the next live stream.